Hi, my name is Jarrett McKenzie, and I'd like to welcome you to Budgeting 101, a continuation of our MoneyWise financial literacy series brought to you by Hensler Financial. Today, we'll take a closer look at the importance of a budget, ways to keep your budget in check, aligning your budget with your behavior, and how the budgeting process can help you develop and save towards your financial goals. So, what is a budget, and why should you care? Well, simply put, a budget is a compilation of the income and expense you expect to incur over a certain period, say one month. If your income exceeds your expenses over that same period, great. This is referred to as having a surplus. However, if your expenses exceed your income, this is called running a deficit, which won't be sustainable for very long. And while helping you determine which side of that equation you end up on is the budget's primary importance, there are many other important elements of a budget that will provide you with helpful insight. For instance, keeping a budget gives you a great amount of control over your money so that you know what's coming in, what's going out, and where it's ultimately going. It also helps to keep you focused on your goals so that you can make progress over time instead of being held back. And because the budget will force you to take a closer look at your spending habits, it is also very helpful in shedding light on spending patterns that may be preventing you from reaching your goals, or even worse, causing you to run a deficit. Once your budget has been created, however, it's important to keep in mind that it will only be as helpful as your ability to track the expenses you incur so that you can see how closely in line your budget is with your reality. In other words, if you set up your budget in hopes of keeping you on the right track, yet behave and spend in ways that don't truly reflect your budget, you're likely to find the budgeting process can become quite painful. Therefore, we find it very helpful to use budgeting tools like apps and websites such as Mint.com, YNAB, or UnitedBudget.com that allow you to link up your financial accounts so that you can track and categorize how your money is truly being spent. Comparing this data with your budget gives you a virtually effortless way of comparing your true spending habits with the assumptions you've made in your budget. Creating and tracking your budget is only half the battle though. The other half comes down to your behavior and how well you can control it. Clearly, that's much easier said than done, but this is a crucial element in the budgeting process. To gain more control over your behavior, start by adjusting your mindset, which may just be a simple change to your daily routine. Developing the right mindset can then help you to develop better habits, which leads to better behavior and results in a more desirable outcome when reviewing your budget. Finally, the budget process is meant to provide you with a constant illustration of the movement of money within your life and should be used to help you develop and save towards your financial goals. So, as you find ways of cutting expenses and growing your surplus, be sure you allocate some of these savings towards small rewards for yourself over time. This will keep you motivated in reaching the long-term goals you've set and less likely to splurge in ways that can be detrimental to all of the hard work you've put into the process. I hope this has been a helpful overview of the budgeting process. I'm Jarrett McKenzie. Thank you for watching.